This sneaker, that sneaker, this sneaker, and that sneaker are all different, but they share the same parts that make them a sneaker. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you about the different parts of a sneaker. The information for this video is from the book 100 Sneakers, A Guide to the World's Greatest Kicks from Sport to Street. Just over here, this, this video was not sponsored by any major shoe companies such as Nike or Adidas. Um, I am simply making this video as a tutorial, and we're using the Nike Air Jordan 1 handcrafted today because um, this shoe is a high top and in my opinion it's easier to distinguish the parts of a sneaker when you are using a high top because in my opinion all the features are more prominent on a high top. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So let's start at the toe. This part is called the toe box. It fulfills the job of protecting your toes without cramping them. Now let's move up a little bit. These are the shoelaces. Um, yeah, they do the job of tying your shoes. And the part zoomed in right there is what's called the anglet. It's a little fun, useless trivia. This is the tongue. A simple yet yeah, quintessential piece where sneaker makers like to add in a little bit of flair. Yeah, so that's the tongue. You've already seen the front of the shoe. Now I'm going to show you the back of the shoe. And we're going to just kind of work our way through each part. So the area marked in black near the top of the shoe all the way down to the very bottom of the shoe um, marked in white is what's known as the upper. This is pretty much everything above the sole of the shoe. So this area marked in purple is what's known as the midsole and heel. A uh, very important part as it's what basically absorbs all the shock when you're out and about bouncing and whatnot. And for the final part this video this is the outsole the only part of the shoe that hits the ground so what makes a good sneaker well it's kind of up to the person you might want something purely because it's different or you might want something because it has a comfort bubble or you might want something because it's pretty at the end of the day a good sneaker is a sneaker that makes you happy